Hi, welcome to WiseCat. In today's video, basically, we're going to do a little bit of a different one. I'm going to just give you a bit of a presentation I gave recently at the Japan Moodle Moot. And so this is sort of a, a abridged version of that, a short, short version of that, short TM. Yeah. Okay, so uh, let's go and have a look at this. I'm going to shrink myself up to the top corner. Hey, looking at you from up on high now. Uh, but anyway, so that you can see these uh, slides that I made. Okay, so basically the topic of today is upgrades and updates. And what's the difference? Is there a difference between updating and upgrading? Well, there is in my mind, but this might be only in my mind actually that I use these words differently. When I talk about an update, I'm actually talking about something completely different to when I'm talking about an upgrade. And so here's how I actually uh, make sense of the differences between both of these. They have different purposes actually. So let's go. So the first thing is that a minor release, any minor release that you have, um, that actually is in my mind an update. So a point release. That means that in the version numbers like 4.3.3, the final three, that's your, your update. And they come out about every two months. And there's actually another one that's got a little plus on the back end of it. And that's, um, you know, like in between the point releases, there's, there's you know, pull. Um, if you do a git pull each week, you're going to get some updates. But uh, anyway, having this, this one here, this is uh, what I would consider an update. Now, the big difference is that it, this usually contains bug fixes and security updates, but it doesn't contain new features and the interface doesn't change. So actually, you know, it's going to look and feel the same. It's just going to keep it secure and up to date. And, you know, if something's broken, it's going to get fixed in one of these uh, updates. Um, an upgrade, on the other hand, is when you're going from, say, Moodle 4.2 to 4.3, or Moodle 4.3 to 4.4, Moodle 4.4 to 4.5, and 4.6 might not exist. More on that later. But anyway, an upgrade is when you're actually going um, a major release. So this, this next number here, which is your major release number, and they come out about every six months. And this is when you've got the new features, the interface changes, and the PHP version requirements and the SQL version requirements might be changed as well. So you have to really check out your, your environment, um, make sure that your environment's okay for the next major release when you're upgrading to a major release. And that's what I would call an upgrade because you're upgrading the entire system. You're adding uh, new features and interface changes. Okay, so <clears throat> when do you do the both? Well, I would suggest that updates, you want to do them ideally weekly. Every single week there are new, um, you know, even on a lower level than the, the minor update, you have the point releases, you actually have uh, additional things, the plus releases. So doing a git pull um, every single week would be a great thing to do. They usually come out on the weekend, so Saturday, Sunday, or something like that. If you do it on a Sunday night or something like that, I don't know, you know, other people might actually have a life, but I do mine on the weekends. Uh, but anyway, doing a git pull on the weekend, you can get the uh, latest fixes and make sure that you keep your Moodle up to date. Now, if you're using an LTS, definitely, you've got to do these, um, these minor point release updates. You've got to do these, otherwise, don't feel good about being on an LTS ever because if you're not doing the minor point releases, you are not getting the security updates and you're not secure. Your, your LTS, being on an LTS has absolutely no meaning if you don't do the point updates and uh, get the minor updates. Now the upgrades on the other hand, these are not for security purposes so much as these are for the new features. This is when you want to actually get a better Moodle. So to get a better Moodle, you want to do those upgrades, but this changes things. This changes um, yeah, the way that people might use things. The, the recently the the question bank changed and things like that. Another video going to come out soon about these changes because I got a few things I want to say about them. <laughs> um, but anyway, the main point for an upgrade, 
4.3 to 4.4 or something, never do this mid-semester. I did it once, and as you can see from the image that I chose here, the pitchforks came out. Um, I was fearing for my life. Don't do it in the mid-semester. Mid never in the mid-semester, only in the semester break. And um, every six months, you're going to use the command instead of git pull, which you'd use for updates, you're going to use git checkout to check out a new branch, which is how um, you can find the, the newer version of Moodle. Okay, so why am I so you know fussy about this particular schedule? Um, well, for the updates, because security updates are important. You want to be secure. So stay secure by doing your updates. You know, it's like, brushing your teeth or something. It's a chore, but yeah, you have to do it, but just do it. You know, stay up to date, stay secure. You've, you're putting your students at risk if you're not doing your updates. Um, but remembering there that big changes, ch big changes to the system. If everything changes about how you use the system, your teachers and your students alike might get lost if you do that mid semester. So um, don't do the mid semester. Gradually changing the system, say every six months, is manageable. And this is one of the things that why I'm going to say as well, uh, just don't do LTSs. And more on that in just a bit. Um, but the main thing is that what we're trying to achieve here in terms of a usability standpoint is regular and predictable changes. Um, because they become welcomed. At m the schools where I teach and where I host the Moodle, um, my users generally are looking forward to the new features that are coming out each six months. And they're like, yeah, we know things are going to change. And we're cool with that because it comes with new features and we're happy to see them. And we know we're not going to get sh you know, shocked with them mid-semester because you've learned your lesson from the pitchfork times. <laughs> So, um, you know, make sure that you uh, do your reliable, predictable uh, changes, and then they know when to expect the changes. The users know when to expect the changes. It's not shocking to them. They, they, they relax. They can do it. So why not go LTS? And why do I have a hate for LTS? Well, simply because LTS to LTS means, for example, going 4.1 to 4.5. Um, first of all, it makes... Upgrading is hard. When you're going that big a jump, it's hard to upgrade themselves. I recently saw a Moodle that was running 3.5. 3.5, right? That's an LTS. That admin is presumably stuck on the LTS because they got into LTS world and they thought, yay, I'm safe and everything. And they haven't upgraded for the last, I mean, what was it? 3.5 was end of life, what, a couple of years ago. I was like, three years ago or so that that was end of life right even if you're on an lts it's not forever ts it's just a little bit longer than than usual and if you don't do the updates you're not covered anyway so do your updates but the big thing i find with lts is the biggest problem is when it comes to the user experience the users hate lts's and why do they hate lts's because you know every three years or so everything changes and it's not manageable. There's, they can't jump that gap. They can't go across and say, hey, um, we went from you know a Moodle that had all the menus were over here and now suddenly I don't know where anything is and things like that. But if there are smaller changes that have happened every six months as a regular drumbeat or something, they can actually get used to that. that that's, a bre that's the gap that they can actually jump across, right? So LTS is, um, in my not so humble opinion, suck really bad. Um, so going these these big changes, three point nine to four point one is a massive change. Um, four point one to four point five is likely to be another massive change. Um, so I actually, you know, they call LTS actually stands for long term support, but I like to call it long term suffering for users because that's realistically what. An LTS does is it causes pain, it inflicts pain. So don't be a masochist. So in sum, updates are the minor point releases, and you want to do these weekly or at least every two months, and you need to do a git pull to do those updates. These are what you do for your security to keep your security good and up to date and tight and everything like that. 
Now, upgrades, on the other hand, those are the major releases. They have a little bit of a point uh, coming in here. And you never want to do these mid-semester. All right, because um, changes to the interface and everything like that just throw everyone off. Mid-semester is a busy time. Everyone's focused on teaching and learning. Um, yeah, I did it once, seriously. I will never do that again mid-semester because it's just <laughs> too scary. Um, users, angry users are scary. Okay, um, so every six months, semester break, you know, do it in the holidays or something. Let the teachers all get their grades in and everything like that, and then do the uh, the upgrades like that. And don't even think of doing LTS releases. I mean, I, I do like the fact that Moodle offers an LTS release, but at the same time, I don't think anybody should ever use an LTS release. Um... I can't really even think of a use case. Even if you've got, say, massive, load-balanced, huge Moodle servers, um, you know, automate that stuff with Ansible or you know, other tools or something like that and figure out how to actually get them all updating on a regular schedule. You know, LTSs are long-term suffering. It's, it's bad. So don't do that. Now, a little bit on the four here. You might notice that I'm, I'm ignoring this uh, leftmost... Um, the leftmost uh, number here. I went to uh, 4.3.3, the right-hand number, and I went to the uh, middle number, but I didn't go to this one on the left. <clears throat> so what's the deal with that one? Well, that one, I didn't really have a name for it, so I sort of just called it a hyper, super, duper, what, yeah, it's, it's just a four. And it doesn't really, well, hasn't really had any meaning yet. Um, that could change though soon. So newsflash, I was going through the documentation and, and the tracker for Moodle 4.4 and I came across uh, this idea here. And the idea is that, <laughs> and I love the fact here, that it's, it's called the YOLO version. Is that the official name for this? I mean, come on, the YOLO version. Four is the YOLO. YOLO! And by the way, YOLO, for those of you who don't know, I, I'm going to make myself big for this bit here because this is a moment. Um, YOLO, for the older people, means you only live once. Now, I am young enough to know this and old enough to feel smug about knowing this. So don't feel so bad if you didn't know. I just think it's funny. Uh, a YOLO version, that is a funny thing. Uh, that's an objectively funny thing to call that. YOLO! Anyway, major version and minor version is there. Now, until now, the YOLO version hasn't really had much meaning. Um, the, as he's written in the tracker issue, there isn't, uh, Andrew Lyons, I think wrote this one. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, there isn't much rhyme or reason to when this is done. It's just, you know, oh, it's about time to go to, you know, two and three and four and stuff like that. It doesn't even follow the, t I mean, 3.10 and 3.11. Well, what, well, that, you know, what, uh, there's no rhyme or reason. So what the suggestion is to do this around the LTS releases and the LTS would then be the last in a series. So this is kind of cool. Last in a series must be an LTS release and then the next major release after an LTS release must be the start of a new series. So series four would start with, you know, uh, four, 4.1, 4.2, 4 um, the future release 4.3 and the 4.4 future release. Uh, 4.5 is the future LTS release. And because it's an LTS, it's the last release in the four series. Then you go 5.0 is the first standard release of the new five series. And you go a few uh, standard releases and then every two years or so there's an LTS. So when the LTS time comes round, that LTS is the last version. And this this makes a heck of a lot more sense than just having it being YOLO. Um, so basically, the last in each series would be your LTS, and your 5.0 or your 6.0 or something like that is your next standard uh, major release. That makes a lot of sense. I really hope they do that. Now, I realize that this is just a tracker issue at the moment, um, but it does seem to be, you know, 
Peter Skoder, uh, Skoder, Skoder, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, but um, good guy. Anyway, uh, this makes perfect sense. Why is it not already done 10 years ago? <laughs> exactly. Um, that four and three and two, it didn't make a lot of sense, but this does. So this sort of makes everything a bit more predictable. You'd be able to tell. Uh, at the moment with the uh, LTSs, you can't, you know, I always have trouble remembering. In particular, for some reason, I always forget that 3.9 was an LTS. Um, 3.5 I can remember, three and 4.1 I can remember, I guess because it's the recent, most recent one. But um, 3.9 I always forget is a LTS. I'm silly brain, right? Anyway, so that's uh, something that should be coming up soon is a rethink of the Moodle versioning. And that's all I've got for you today. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we're going to be talking a bit more about Moodle 4.4 in coming uh, weeks. Uh, I'm also hoping to have a little bit of an event sort of a thing, perhaps with a live stream or something, where I might even set up a Moodle 4.4 as soon as it's released and let you guys have a, a bit of a try at it. So, um, I don't know, let me know in the comments below if you'd, you'd like to see a sort of a live stream event uh, looking at Moodle 4.4. And in the meantime, I'm going to try and get you a sort of a sneak peek out where I, I review the, the new features that are coming in Moodle 4.4 soon. Um, but yeah, that, that's what I'm going to try to work on uh, and get that video out as soon as possible. But sorry, I, I'm really strapped for time now because it's the beginning of our semester here. Anyway, thank you very much. And I will talk to you in the... Oh, like and subscribe. Hit that smash that subscribe button, right? That's what you're supposed to say. All right, do that. And, uh, and do your updates and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.